Developing news tonight, the South Carolina Department of Corrections, they are working to hire a number of people. They've put together a campaign to make sure prisoners are safer, not only for those in state custody, but for those who work there. In a 7 News investigation, Brianna Smith uncovered the massive shortage of workers and the price for safety. The halls of these high-level prisons can be dangerous. With the critical shortage of officers, they can be borderline disastrous. Like when an officer at Perry Correctional in Pelzer was beaten and held hostage just a year ago. A 7 News investigation revealed that there were nearly 10 guards for every 100 inmates at that facility. A dire situation that hasn't gotten much better. One of the issues we clearly have is uh, officer vacancies. Now the Department of Corrections is going to new heights to hire through billboards. We did not advertise for a long time. Now we're using money that we have to advertise to allow people to see the opportunities, career opportunities we have at places like Perry and other places that are in the upstate. For this fiscal year, the DOC spent $184,000 on a billboard campaign that now lines every interstate in South Carolina. And new places like the ACC championship game in Charlotte. And now there's two billboards that are put up in Puerto Rico. Advertisements in Puerto Rico show how desperate your need is right now to fill positions. I think it shows the lengths that we will go through and two, to find officers to come in and work at the Department of Corrections. Puerto Rico has an unemployment rate of 10 percent. DOC Director Brian Sterling says they're hoping this uncharted territory will fill positions fast. We're going to use technology to um, expedite the interview and, and get them here as quickly as we can. While the advertisements are saturating the state, there's no way to know if they're working. The DOC isn't tracking the return on their billboard budget investment, but they believe their marketing efforts are working. We are seeing an uptick in, um, in the number of people that we're bringing in, and now we just have to retain them. But with 700 spots left to fill, the DOC hopes it can happen fast. Our staff needs to feel safe, and that's why we need to get more people in. Brianna Smith, 7 News. The Department of Corrections is also looking to retain officers through offering overtime and handing out Christmas bonuses and raises. We've linked to the application process in this story on WSPA.com.